Welcome to lesson 11 in the FL Studio tutorial series. This lesson continues our set of lessons on adding and managing content in FL Studio. In this lesson, we're going to focus on how to add and use VST plugins, specifically VST instruments in your pattern and song structures. VST plugins are virtual instruments or effects that can be used in any DAW or digital audio workstation that supports their use. Many are free online, Many more are available for a fee. In downloading a VST plugin, you'll most likely download it packaged as a zip file. Inside, there may be an installer named Setup, but in many cases of free VSTs, there will only be a file called a DLL file and maybe a folder with some presets or other data. You would need to extract or install the contents of the zip file to a dedicated folder that you want to use for your VST plugins. Once you've added plugins to your folder, you now need to tell FL Studio where that folder is so that it can add the contents to your available effects and instruments. To do so, go to Options, File Settings. In the pop-up window that appears, you see the bottom half is labeled VST Plugins Extra Search Folder. Here we can add our VST folder by clicking on the folder icon beside it. Another pop-up will ask you to navigate to and select your VST folder. To access your VSTs, the method will depend on whether they're instruments, which load in the channels of the step sequencer, or if they're effects, which load in the mixer, and will be explained in a later lesson focusing more heavily on the mixer. Forgetting about effects for now, let's load a VST instrument into our step sequencer. Right-click on any channel already in your step sequencer and choose Insert. Then mouse over the list of available instruments we have already been using and go to the word More at the top. A new list will pop up showing all available instruments FL recognizes. At the bottom of this list should be a section labeled VST Plugins. In that section, there should be any VST plugins you have available. There's no filter to show only instruments or only effects here, so you may accidentally open an effect. You'll know you've opened an effect if you get a pop up error stating can't load an effect into a channel. As frustrating as this can be, until you learn the names of your VSTs, you'll have to use this process. You may also see a box with an F in it to the left of each plugin name. This is to set a plugin as a favorite so that it loads in the immediate insert or replace menu without you having to go to more to find it. If you later add any plugins to your folder while FL is open, you'll need to go to the bottom of the more list and choose one of the refresh options to reveal any new plugins. Once you've chosen an instrument, it'll load in a new channel. The VST may have its own graphic interface that will most likely appear. If it does not, go to Channel Settings menu for that channel and click the Plugin tab. You can experiment with any controls on the GUI to alter the sound of the VST, or some come loaded with presets. To access the presets of any instrument, not just a VST, you can go to the main drop-down menu of the GUI Mouse over presets and see any available to you. If the list is massive, like we see here, you can go to the end of the list and check tree display to sometimes open the list under categorized sections. Likewise, you can also use these arrows to navigate from the next or previous presets. Some VSTs have presets that can only be changed using a selector that's embedded in the interface itself. A final option is to randomize the preset, which can give some interesting results, sometimes good, sometimes bad. This tool can be found also at the bottom of the preset list for any instrument. A word to the wise, though, if you do explore randomizing presets, first turn down your volume, as some results can push the comfortable listening boundaries for sure. After choosing a preset, the VST instrument is now ready to be programmed. Again, I'd love to discuss how to add a VST effect right now, but I feel we must first review the mixer, which I'll do in a later lesson. Now you should have a means for adding VST plugin content to FL Studio and for adding VST instruments to your step sequencer. Thus ends our lesson on using VST instruments.